Hey everyone, this is an excerpt from my interview with Ali Moen Afshari. Just a really quick update before we get into the interview clip is that I'm going to be releasing the full interview with Ali on July 1st, 2025, which is also the first day of enrollment of Ali's new program, Trade With Me. So make sure you join the waitlist to be notified of any updates we have on the launch. And also, when you join the waitlist, you'll get access to a free intro course for TWM that will allow you to prepare for the program. So it'll give you a lot of free exclusive content. If you've already joined the waitlist, you should have already received an email about the details of the free course. So make sure you check your inbox for that. Okay, let's do um, 33. It looks like we just had a tight trading range to 32, and now we're breaking out. Um, is 33, we're always in long, it's a breakout. How do you classify this in terms of how you're going to approach this trade? Right. So usually when you're at the top of the trading range and the way the market gets to the top is within a few legs, that last breakout is a very low probability breakout. So that is against the probabilities for 33. So bears have nothing except the environment. Environment is still a wide trading range. So wide trading range, you expect mean reversion, okay? You have multiple legs to top of the trading range. So that's automatically disqualifying the buy. The other thing is we have a big gap up day, which is 2.6 times bigger than an average bar range on the daily chart. When that is the case, you can still trend in that direction, but that caps off the extent that the market can move intraday. Because if you look at the daily chart, usually bars are of similar sizes and they tend to gravitate to that average. If the bar is suddenly so much bigger than the average bar size, this in this case, 2.6 times bigger, just on the gap open, what is left for the rest of the day to accomplish? There's not much more left. Right. So that automatically discourages people from buying, expecting a trend intraday because that is the lower probability assumption. It's not going to happen. How many times do you see a bar on the daily chart that's, let's say, four or five times an average bar range? Very rare. Very rare. The chance of this day, for this day to be one of those days, is equally rare. Mm. So that means if the market is near the top of the range and you see three legs or four legs to reach that price, that last breakout, even though the bar looks good, is probably very low probability. So it's one of those skip situations. Sometimes they turn into swings, but it's better to miss the swing and enter later on something else than expose yourself to a lower risk trade. In addition to all of that, we are seeing potentially a triangle on 33 that is incomplete yet, but it has uh, five legs. Three going up and two going down. So any trading range with five legs in it is a no-touch pattern. Mm. You you cannot trade it. And the first the first leg is the gap up. Yep. Right. So gap up is the first leg. Second leg up. Third leg up. Right. Okay. And two counter legs down to six and down to nineteen. So we have a five leg trading range that is compressing the range. Because there is a range compression, it's a triangle. And because there's five legs in it, it's almost complete. So the market is really in breakout mode. That's a situation near resistance. It's one of those um, few times a day that you have to fold your arms and don't touch the mouse and say, all right, I'm going to wait. Right. And to your point about the dynamics of the big gap up, even though the distance traveled between bar six and bar 76 looks like a big bull trend. Mm -hmm. The actual displacement of the day from the open to the close is actually very, very small. Yeah. So I didn't actually move a, a a really large distance from the open to the close, Correct. even though it traveled a, a large distance. 